Hello guys, welcome to Game Time with Demon King. Uh, I'm Demon King, of course. And today I was thinking to do a game review on a very old game, mainly known as Shenmue. Shenmue, well, Shenmue. There's a lot to talk about Shenmue, but I have to cover up this video in five minutes. So I really can't say that I can do it in five minutes. I need a very, very a lot of time to do a review on Shenmue. Well, Shenmue, I, I really love Shenmue. Well, it was way back in the year 2000, 2001 when I heard from friends there is a new game coming known basically as Shenmue. Shenmue, you can see in the cover. And I've heard from friends that it would be a newly 3D game in which you can go to the world and talk to people and stuff. It was very latest game as compared to others like it was a 2d versions like we played a lot of we had and sega was making a really great game known basically known as shenmue i bought the cd of shenmue it was four discs i remember of dreamcast and i came home with the disc and i, re I remember i put in the cd and uh, then the video started and i was like wow it's so awesome and when Ryo Hazuki, the main character, as you can see in the, as you can see, Ryo Hazuki, I was really amazed. To, at that time, those graphics were amazing, guys, really amazing, and I was like, wow, I can't believe my eyes while seeing it. And I started to play Shenmue, and I, uh, I saw that he went to his homes, in which. Uh, the tragic death of his father and I was really sad it really hurt me and I was like we have to take revenge for his dad and then when he woke up I was holding my dreamcast remote and I remember that uh, I could control Rio for the first time it was a very unique game I could go and touch stuff I could pick it up and I could do anything but I didn't know, wow, it was a very wow and wow factor game. I really love Shenmue guys and I really want you guys to play it too. And uh, I remember when I, we went to Toguita, there was a city in which there are sh shops. You can talk to every NPC player. In, in back, back that time it was like amazing wow. They were walking, they were going on time, you can see the time watch. Everything was the sun was going up, down, and stuff. I was very amazed. And Yu Suzuki, the creator, I would say that, sir, I'm really impressed, and I'm really I'm a big fan of yours, and I really want to meet you, and I really want you to make Shenmue 3. Really want, we all really want to make you Shenmue 3. In which uh, he had many friends. The story tells that it tells us about friendship tells us about a little bit about love it tells us about how the world is towards us and stuff then after some time Shenmue 2 came in and we left uh, Japan Japan basically and we went to Hong Kong in the discs too in which Master Chen and his son helped us to reach it there and I really loved this Shenmue it, it, basically, it was a very unique game in which uh, I couldn't tell you can go into the stores, you can went, you can knock on the doors, you can stuff everything in the first day, uh, first Shenmue. Then the Shenmue when we went, we went to uh, Hong Kong, El Berlin, I guess, it was the first part, and we went off the I uh, was like amazed and wow, Shenmue 2 was really well made up too, and I really love Shenmue 2 too. Obviously my top 3, my number 1 was always Shenmue and it will always be Shenmue because there, there isn't any game like it I have ever seen till now and way back then I was really amazed what, what the work did the Sega team and Yu Suzuki did and I was really proud of it. So in Shenmue 2 we went, we met a girl on a bike. I won't, don't, I want to spoil the nails so that you have to find it out yourself but I'll tell you a little bit which we met a friend a lot of friends in Hong Kong too and we also see that uh, saw that how is the world towards 
there are obviously some nice people too in this world. Not all of them are bad. As you look at the five fingers, they are not always the same. So obviously the world is also different. People are good too. And uh, Shenmue 2 and Shenmue 1 gave me a lot of things to experience. So I back at that time. So I was a kid and I really learned a lot from Shenmue. As in their story, they had many morals teaching us. And, uh, guys, I really want you to guys to play it. I'm not forcing you, but I. If you play it, you love it. That's all I can say. And think of playing it as back with the year of 2000. But with the games of 2000 and play it like that, and then you will know. Wow, you will say, Wow, that's awesome. Michi also okay. So guys, this was all about the review on Shenmue. The review on Shenmue. I told you that I couldn't do the video in 5 minutes and it passed up upon 5 minutes. I have a lot to say about Shenmue but I think so that this is, I think this must be the, and, and you guys should uh, find it yourself that what is Shenmue when, it's really awesome story in Shenmue too you'll find what is Shenmue and stuff. I don't want to spoil it and I'm like, creating a suspense for you guys to see. So guys, uh, this was uh, Demon King and the review was on Shenmue, the greatest game for me and I guess you would also love it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the review of Shenmue by me. Obviously, I'm gonna give a million out of a million rating to this game. It's gonna be like, okay, the final rating I'm gonna give this game is obviously 10 out of 10 by me. 10 out of 10. It's a very highest rating, the fullest rating for all time. And I'm gonna give 10 out of 10 rating to Shenmue. So guys, this was all about uh, Shenmue. I hope you enjoyed the uh, review I gave. And guys, please also do comments too. I don't... If you li like the video, I, I like when you like the video, but I also want you to participate with me too. And tell me what I should do next. So guys, Thank you very much for your giving your time to me and thank you for watching the videos and supporting me and I'll see you guys in the coming next video so till then till then take care bye bye